Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 60, and we can see we came back here. I've left three times, came back, and now that we've done the whole area mostly, Simon's here. I've switched up to the Butcher's uniform just to give it a little difference. And I've got the Beast Cutter here, plus seven with some good gems, and then I'm going to switch to the Saw Cleaver for the boss fight. But let's talk to Simon. Oh, hello. Not a pretty sight, is it? The true face of the blood-worshipping, beast-purging, healing church. But that's not all. You seek the secrets held by the Nightmare, do you not? Then here's what you must do. Climb the Astral Clock Tower and kill Maria. She hides the real secret. So Maria is hiding the secret and he's telling us to go kill her. Go on. Kill Maria atop the astral clock tower. And she is hiding she the secret. Hides the real secret. Let's go do the balcony first. Um this real quick. Lethal damp blood gem. And cold blood. And this area is supposed to look like the Lumen Flower Gardens above the cathedral. Up down here. Looks exactly like it with subtle differences. Right? Take a look around here. And of course, there's going to be a window to break above the church. Get kill kin clo blood here. We're sniping through because they will attack you. But... There's the window. There's our item. Let's check over here. I believe there's our item. But we'll make sure. something with arcane but it gives us a chance to read what the black sky eye is which is a really cool arcane weapon i believe i can use it because i leveled up my arcane to 30 um leveled up my blood change to 17 now so i sh think i can blood letter <laughs> Soft eye blessed by the phantasm, they were discovered through Bergenworth's contact with the arcane, but in the end revealed nothing. Deep within the eye lies a vast stretch of dark sky that rumbles with an endless meteor of storm. The slightest rub of any tiny orb in the rock will tumble. It's basically the, the attack that they were doing to me. Um, I don't need to beat them. I don't know why I want to. I don't think I will. I'm just gonna break the. I know. Go through here. Should be able to level up the beast cutter now, which is nice. Here. Now 
don't need to beat those guys. I'm not even worried about the 7,000 that I lost. Now, I, now we gotta make this jump and not fall. So I'm gonna show you. Make that jump to get that item. Do it. And we did not. Ah. Uh. I'm a freaking scrub. Gosh, I really hate the uh, mechanics, the jumping mechanics in these games. They're awful. Now, I know there's still a few items that I missed in the area. I'll go back and get them. Um, but we got the important ones right now. Um, I do want to give the last brain fluid Adeline and then her quest, but you might be wondering, ah, where's that last brain fluid? Well, really weird, but we have to kill her to get the last brain fluid. We'll come back to life and then you can do it. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. It, uh... No, 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 no. Cannot believe it. I knew I jumped way too soon. That damn optical illusion. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. And I went back and forth three times just to cut everything out. Did so much. Then... Uh, take three of jumping. I'm starting to get irritated. <laughs> I really wanted to try to fit the two boss fights in this episode, but I'm such a noob, or I'm playing like a freaking noob that uh, I can't make this account. Uh, I really hate the platforming in the Souls games. They're really awful. They really are. Would have been cool if there was a hidden wall. Okay. There you go. Good job. It's not even worth it that much. It's a pulsing damn blood gem. All right. So yeah, we still need to get the key to unlock the cells, um, which we haven't gotten yet. I think two items left that we have to get. So, oh no, let's go. Yep, let's go give her the finish her quest. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> oh hello. One last time. Will you fetch brain fluid just one last time? Murky, mushy fluid that will make me whole. The sticky sound whispers to me. So very close, right into my ear. My head, just a head, that's all there is. I need my baptism. He's calling it a baptism. Please. I Thinks it's going to get her closer to being a great one. <laughs> Extracted from page... Uh, I'll just read this. We fail to realize our own latent potential until the moment it is lost and we sense its absence. Ironically, this is the very nature of insight. Like the moment one licks its own blood, only to be startled by its sweetness. Please, this uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. 
I see a shape. My guide, I see your voice. Clearly as it bends and bleeds. My own we get the milk revelation. Weed Just for me. <laughs> Thank you. For everything. The milkweed rune is unlocked used to be nothing. by defeating the last <sighs> boss. It's true power. <laughs> now she dies. For real. It used to be nothing, she said. She's thinking this. Alright. Very sick. Okay. Let's read the milkweed rune. What is wrong with me? I'm losing it right now. A carol envisioned by Adeline, patient of research hall, a transcription of the inhuman sticky whispers that reveal the nature of the celestial attendant. Those who take the oath and become lumen wood that peers onward in the sky, feeding phantasm on the luscious uh, bed. Phantasms guide us to lead to further discoveries. That's going to turn us into a great one. Close to a great one. Actually followed us. I have failed. Please, Lady Maria. <laughs> He's trying to get to Lady Maria. I have failed. <laughs> hey, we still have plenty of things we gotta get. Talking about now that we're safe. It is a legit shield. Um, and. An artisanal shield crafted with blue glass, originally uh, used to safeguard the leading uh, leader presiding over a sacred healing church ceremony, and later supplied to womb prospectors, in particular those exploring the labyrinth of East. The blue fashioned after a lake with the shield greatly reduces all forms of non-physical damage. So this is a really great shield against the next boss, which is like the Celestial Emissaries, um, that, um, will fire those projectiles at you, so. Yes, 
this is where we were trying to jump in here. So we got the underground selfie. Oh, I should have done that. And now we can go free those prisoners. Get them out there. Let's go do that. Keats and cell below Grand Cathedral. Hunters are held within an uh, underground cell that things are better left unseen. The knowledge ladder left unknown will decay quietly. Ah, a little side quest right now. Um, really what I should do. Um, what I should do is just do this to save time. Gold Hunter Mark. We will go to the cells. You know, I should have just taken the elevator down, actually. <laughs> I'm just fast traveling. Oh, goodness. Already been 17 minutes. Wow. I was hoping to get Lady Maria boss fight in here. I think I will. I think I'm just going to do it. Because I don't think this next boss fight's gonna be way too hard. I say that now, and I'm probably just gonna get wrecked. Well, I should have leveled up actually the Beast Cutter to plus eight, but it's a. This is Yamamura, and he is killing us. Shrouded by nine, the ground under the church. Beast sir, curse and curse and shackle. Only he, the true blades of the church. Come on. No. Shrouded by nine, but with steady strife. I can't do it. There it is. Always clear of mind. Ground under the church. <laughs> Garb of the uh, distant eastern land worn by Yamamura, the wanderer. The eastern warrior pursued a beast for honorable revenge, but then became a hunter of the League. But then he star uh, stared straight into impurity, and it drove him mad. Kill this guy so he won't give us any trouble when we bust out the next issue. Here. 
Jesus, no. Hunter in here. Expect what he was wielding. A really cool weapon, actually. One of the old trick weapons of the healing church, that hunting weapon formed one of the giant picks that appeared old beast tails. Church pick initially serves as a large sword, but then transform extended to war pick in spite of its origins. Highly practical weapon. So it's basically a scythe, almost like. And I believe that's it because. We cannot get to Bray Dory. So. I dropped a lot of blood at those. Okay, so now let's just go back. Put Yam Mora's on the next one, because I really like that outfit. Um, let's see if we can beat the next boss, and then hopefully go to Lady Maria, which is going to be probably super hard. She's actually really tough. Um, but she's not the hardest boss. I mean, the next, the last boss in this DLC. Oh boy, I've only been able to beat it once, so... Oh man. Oh man. Let's save it, because... Actually, no. Yeah, oh. I don't know. Want to equip the lock shield, so... Um... And the next enemies are actually weak against thrust weapons, so I probably should have equipped something like the rifle spear. But let's go. Let's... Yeah, I don't want to whip, but it does have a Could use those quick bolts. Really awesome. Deep. 
basically get eight for here. Just eight free ones. Can be Now we got all the items in the area. Go fight. The celestial emissary type. Living failure. So let's read the Astral Tide Clock Tower key. Key to the Astral Clock Tower at the top of the Grand Cathedral, the caretaker of the tower's numerous patients known as the, to them as only Lady Maria made their home behind the giant star interpreting clock. Let's go back. Prep for this boss fight. So that one's not too hard. Just like the Celestial Emissaries. Um, the shield's really great for blocking. We saw I blocked a lot of that. So let's heal our weapon. Our, uh, our weapon. So I'm going to use a saw cleaver because I do want a fast weapon. And let's see. This because it's continuing to heal. Um. go. I was going to switch up to Yamamura. Actually, it's just... Not get new gloves for him with him? Old Hunter armbands? Maybe yeah, so. I'll just use it. Why not? 
comma, more hat. All right, doesn't that look fashionable? That looks awesome. Love that set. Oh boy, she is tough, man. She is tough. Let's uh, buff our weapon. I have to remember I have HP minus 8. Should probably change that out, but it's okay. She's gonna hit me. Look at her, she looks exactly like the doll. A corpse should be left well alone. And it's got her same voice actress. The doll was modeled after Lady Maria. Oh, I know very well how the secrets beckon so sweetly. Some katana she fights with. From your wild curiosity. way harder than it actually is because when she goes up to do that you can just actually kill her with that to stagger her and kill her um but now drops this which is the celestial dial like this 
and we'll continue on to the last area of the DLC in the next episode. Let's read the Celestial Dial. Behind that's the secret to the nightmare. Celestial dial that functions as a giant astral clock in the Grand Cathedral. When the dial is held upward, the astral clock, the clock will come to life and reveal a secret, curious interval. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to hopefully get through a major portion of the next area. I actually don't like the next area that much, but we'll do it. Almost done with the DLC. If I can beat the la Orphan of Cause in the last episode, spoiler, um, it'll, be, it'll be interesting. But thanks again. Take care.